Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on May 8th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at our sun, world weather, earthquakes, disaster alerts. Stay aware and prepared. We have a very active filament sun right now. All around the sun right now, filaments are erupting. And there is an eruption that happened in the southern hemisphere, which is heading our way. We also have an earth-facing coronal hole elongated from the southern hemisphere towards equatorial. But then we have this newly formed coronal hole. And that is on the equatorial plane. Still no major sunspots to talk about. Experiencing a little bit of space weather right now as the phi angle is totally dropped. Looking here at another light, we're able to see the heliosphere. This is the last two days of images provided to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Thanks to creators, developers there. Amazing images of our fiery sun. If you enjoy this stuff, please smack that like button. Help support the channel. Let's get to the real-time solar wind as we are steady at about 350 kilometers per second, which is calm. But you can see that final has not gone back since yesterday. Looking here at the Enlil space weather prediction spiral, you can see we have some energy heading our way right now. Just grazing Earth. Also have a look here at the Schumann residence for today as it was calm with a power of 10. Have a look at earthquakes here for the last 24 hours as it has been very active since early this morning. Looking here at the largest earthquake reported today, 5.5 in the mid-Indian Ridge, the 10 kilometer depth as well, a 4.7 reported here early in the morning Carlsberg Ridge as well, 4.6 Iran at a 10 kilometer depth, 4.5 there to Tajikistan as well, 4.0 and greater aftershocks continuing in Greece, very dangerous fault line, the Hellion fault line as well, we had a 5.4 here in the Visakoi Island, South, San South Sandwich Islands overlooking South America, 4.6 here, and as well, 4.7 today in Peru. So watching increased seismicity throughout Central America, El Salvador, Guatemala, 4.4s, and as well, watching the magnitude of earthquakes increase in Dominican, as there has been about four, three point, uh, five and greater and as well seeing increased activity on the North American plate as all of a sudden it's quiet in Hawaii after about a week's worth of earthquakes interesting indeed then we had a 5.2 here in Guam that is Marianas Trench deepest largest trench on the planet as well 5.1 there in Japan a deep 4.3, 413 kilometer depth there, East Timor, as well 4.7 here, Vanuatu. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world and definitely seeing an increase in the last 24 hours. A lot of white rings. Indian plate stretching down to Antarctic plate. With South America and still all this shallow minor quakes across North American plate considerably the quiet zone let's have a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center most recent volcanoes being updated Dokonoa in Indonesia 
Sabinkaya in Peru, Era in Japan, Etna in Italy early this morning, as well Ebuko in Russia late last night, getting updated again this morning. Many volcanoes to talk about here, Raventador in Ecuador, Nevados de Chile in Colombia, and Popopacetical in Mexico, Sabincaya in Peru. So that's about 14 volcanoes that have been updated today, Kluchevskoy in Russia, and it goes on and on. So a very active day for volcanoes around the world, as well active weather across the United States, down into Louisiana, Mississippi, New Orleans this morning, or sorry, Lake Charles, Louisiana, had a tornado warning as a cold front swept through and a large, large wave of moisture and thunderstorms rolled through New Orleans. As well, floods here reported in New York. And then the big story here, eastern Canada enveloped into a winter storm right now, getting buried in blizzard-like conditions from Nunavut to northern Quebec, Newfoundland. Very large low-pressure system getting ready to just snug up there into the Hudson Bay. Very interesting what our planet is doing right now. Let's get to the three-day forecast here brought to you by Media Earth, Media Mike. Look, starting out here, home base, Alberta. High pressure ridge coming from the north, bringing cool temperatures, but stronger high pressure ridge in the Pacific. And as well, a low just off the coast of California and Washington is going to be bringing in some really warm weather. So spring is almost eastern Canada. No way, Jose. Look at the size of this storm as it forms in the next three days. And then in the five day forecast, will be heading westward into the Hudson Bay. Overlooking United States, the next few days, very humid and hot in the Gulf. Watch for some extreme weather to pop up straight across the Florida Panhandle. As there was a low tucked up in there, but the cold high pressure ridge that came from, you're welcome, Canada. <laughs> Overlooking Western Europe, parts of Spain we have that large low that is coming back to Spain as well across the United Kingdom watch for some really cool temperatures coming in as low pressure systems are scooting right by Iceland following the high pressure convergence line so watch for winter storms across Eastern Europe up into Finland and into Russia as well. Central Russia, not too much, but Eastern Russia later in the week. Watch for quite a developing situation as three low pressure systems, very cold ones at that, converge over Eastern Russia. Stay tuned to the Daily Do. We give you now three day forecasts. I figure it'd be easier since I do post every day. I'll give you three day forecasts. Thanks again for watching. And if you're enjoying this content, please don't forget to smack that like button. It really helps this channel help support your favorite channel. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, no tropical storms to talk about. Australia, Southeastern, again, cool temperatures and rain coastlines. South America, daily evaporation rains heavier towards Colombia and Peru and up into Panama as the equator is really starting to heat up trying to transition into summertime for the northern hemisphere parts of Africa are really starting to heat up as well daily evaporation rains to continue the next three days heavier amounts Mozambique, Zimbabwe, yet again. We'll leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere for winds and low pressure systems. Thanks again for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Much love to you all.
And if you've made it this far in the video, get in the comment section, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bye-bye.